was a very unusual rescue in Canton today. Firefighters were called in to get someone out of a tree. A badly injured man was trapped high above the ground. News Channel 5's Bob Jones talked to the firefighters who said they needed to act quickly. It's new at 6. The call never comes in, you know, when you're expecting it. As rescue calls go, this was a strange one. Trapped in a pine tree about 40 feet off the ground was 59-year-old Mark Bagnoli. It was bizarre. <laughs> Firefighters say Bagnoli was trimming a tree for his parents. Most of the branches had already been sheared off. When firefighters found him, he was in a precarious position, on a limb with a broken leg. All the tree limbs were cut off, and he was uh, trying to t take the top off, probably approximately a 30-foot section of a tree base and um, it came down and struck him. He was in a lot of pain um, and he didn't, he looked rather pale. We were concerned he might be losing blood internally. Using an aerial truck with a ladder taller than 100 feet, Canton's technical rescue team devised a plan. The truck weighing 54,000 pounds maneuvered through the backyard and Captain Dan Reed and firefighter Eric Durland went up the ladder and secured the trapped man with harnesses. Well, he had injuries we had to be pretty careful of to, to his leg and hip, so so uh, it was basically tie him off to the tree itself to make sure he was secure. He didn't have to worry about falling. Firefighters carefully brought Bagnoli down the ladder and he was rushed to the hospital. Uh, it was unusual. We don't have a lot of tree rescues. The firefighters are glad they were able to save the man and downplay the label of heroes. All in a day's work, they say. But these guys never know where that next call may take them. And any given day, you never know what we're going to be into. In Canton, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Firefighters say Mark Bagnoli was taken to Altman Hospital for treatment, but they do not have an update on his condition.